What's up, my fellow miners? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about how you guys are calculating your profits wrong. Yeah, you heard me. If you're comparing nice hash and what to mine profitability calculators, you're doing it wrong. Before we begin, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. There's a lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed to the channel. Almost at 2,000 subs. Let's hit it, guys. I know we can do it. I know we can. Also, I now have memberships. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by hitting that join button down below. I'm not required, but if you want to, be my guest and do so. It would help the channel, so that way I can uh, get more equipment and do more videos and stuff like that. So, let's get to it. You guys are calculating wrong. And I, this this is prompted because I'm yawning. This is prompted because of the uh, the comments that I get when I talk about nice hash and how uh, how I'm making a certain amount on nice hash and you guys are like, oh no, you're wrong. there's no way you can make more through nice hash uh, as opposed to mining direct and all that. listen, let me tell you something. When mining direct, you're mining to hold a specific coin. When mining through nice hash, you're not holding that coin. They're paying you in Bitcoin. You're renting out your hash power through nice hash to be able to mine and get paid in Bitcoin. The prof the the downsides to that is yes, you're not mining a specific coin, so you don't hold a specific coin. You hold Bitcoin because that's what they're paying you in. The the upside to it is that because you're renting out your hash power you you will get paid more because you're renting out your hash power because whoever is paying for the for your hash power it's like a bidding war right so uh somebody will pay more to get your hash power and so sometimes you'll get paid even more and then your actual profitability will be much higher as opposed to what it would be. So there's a lot of fluctuations in nice hash, which some may see as a downside, but a positive side to it is most of the time the fluctuation is on the upside as opposed to the downside. Okay, so now that I've kind of explained how nice hash works a little bit, we're going to go ahead and switch over so I can go ahead and show you the comparison between nice hash profitability calculator and what to mine. And then I'm going to show you my own profits so you can take it in consideration and make and have a better understanding of it. Okay. So over here, let's start by adding all the cards that I'm using to mine. I'm currently using four car, uh, four cards to mine on. Unless if I'm recording a video or gaming and then I'm only using three cards. So my 3060, those of you guys who have asked before, my 3060 is my main card in my GPU or in my, my PC. And because of that, when I'm recording a video, when I'm gaming, when I'm live streaming, I am not mining on my 3060. Okay, so right now I'm not mining on it. With that in mind, let's go ahead and... Add all my cards as if I was mining on all of them. So I have a 2070, I have a 3060. Now here's here's where it gets a little tricky because I have a 3060 LHR. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the comparison between the 3060 and the 30 the 3060 version one, which is the non-LHR, and the 3060 version two, which is the LHR, even though they're both technically technically LHR. And the reason why I'm gonna show you the both of them is because of the new T-Rex dual miner because a lot of you guys like a lot of you guys still have questions on the T-Rex dual miner and how it works and uh, how the profitability works on it. So a really quick explainer on the T-Rex miner dual mining, uh, which I, I did go through a video on that and I showed you how much I'm making using the T-Rex dual miner through nice hash compared to what uh what a 3060 version one would be making so if you guys want to watch that video go watch that i'll link them both at the end of this one for you guys because again a lot of people are insisting that using the dual miner i'm not making as much as a regular 3060 is or i'm not making as much as 
uh, as I would be if I'm mining one specific coin, uh, according to what to mine. And that that's what prompted this video. So let's go ahead. We're going to add first the 3060, the regular non LHR, which is still LHR, but whatever. We're going to add my 1080. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. And we're going to add my 1060. All right. So with those with those four cards, according to NiceHash, as of this video, I should be making nine dollars and thirty nine cents a day after electricity costs. OK, my electricity cost in my area is uh, 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 cents a uh, kilowatt hour. So that's my electricity cost in my area. So according to NiceHash, this is what I'm making per day. Let's go to uh, what to mine. Okay, so what to mine, I did the same thing. I added 3060, non-LHR, 2070, 1080, and 1060. Let's go ahead and hit calculate. Now, according to what to mine, after electricity costs, if I'm mining Ethereum, it's $7.70. Okay, so the problem here that that I see a lot of you know that I see because a lot of people are are saying all of this and, and that it's not profitable and this and that. The problem here is that nice hash will take the different algorithms in order to compare them, right? So it'll go by what's most profitable. Oh, it'll go by what's most profitable for what card and um and this that and the other. But for this comparison it is going to be all on ethereum because the 3060 version one can mine ethereum excuse me can mine ethereum properly all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the 3060 to the 3060 lhr and hit calculate whenever it goes anytime now well, I guess while we wait for that, this would be a good time to go ahead and ask you guys to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're using what to mine to to calculate your profits or if you're using nice hash profitability calculator. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this 3060 from over here. And then we're going to add the 3060 L. Where are you? All right, there you go. 3060 L. And hit calculate. All right, so there it goes. For some reason, both websites kind of just got hung up for a minute. So on Nice Hash Profitability Calculator, when putting in a 3060 LHR, it's putting it at $8.37 a day after uh, electricity costs. Okay, so over here on What to Mine, it's putting it at $7.46 a day after electricity costs. So there's a dollar discrepancy between the two, just about. 90 cents to a dollar discrepancy between the two. Now, here's here's the thing. If you are using what to mine calculator and you're mining on NiceHash, you're doing it wrong. You need to be using NiceHash profitability calculator to compare to, uh, to NiceHash. And the reason is, like I mentioned before, because the way that NiceHash works, they are using the uh they're renting out your hash power and you get paid be uh, based on your hash power that they're renting out and sometimes you might get paid more all right so if if um where are you if people or not people if uh yeah if the people that are renting out your hash power are paying more then they will uh then you'll see your profitabilities increase let's go ahead and do this so i can show you guys my mining profits okay let me refresh this all right so that way you guys can understand so here we go uh for a day okay this is october 10th now again taking consideration that i li i live stream in the middle of the night i do content creation all that stuff so this isn't going to be exact it's going to be what i make with my four cards is going to be anywhere between I would say eight dollars and sixty cents to uh to the nine dollars and uh 
here let's switch this back to the regular LHR or version one uh, so it's going to be close to the nine dollars and thirty five cents so anywhere between eight dollars and sixty cents and nine dollars and thirty five cents because for a good uh, four to six hours on most days not every day but most days I am going to be uh, going to be live streaming on my other channel so uh, with that in mind that's about a dollar to a dollar thirty that I'm not making not not a dollar dollar thirty I'm sorry that's that's for the whole hour or the whole four hours um, that's about anywhere between 20 cents to 35 cents in those four hours that I'm not making sometimes a little bit more and again I content I, I do content throughout the day so that's why like you know right here I'm doing this and then I gotta edit the video and then I gotta you know so all of that takes up GPU power so during that time I'm not using my uh, my 3060 so anyways going over here if we're going to add up everything from October 10th it should be around eight dollars and sixty cents very close to that so starting from down here 131 131 and then 151 148 152 one, uh, 145 and 141 and that's eight dollars and 68 cents in in that day october 10th so if i did and you can see it too hold on let me uh let's go over here let's go a week and then you'll be able to see where it kind of like dips down so october 10th is over here i want to uh, there should be a way for me to not zoom in that way. There should be a way for me to check specific days. Well, it's all right. Let's go ahead and take off. Where are you? Payments. I, I want to. No, no, no. I just want to see this. Okay, so right here. So October 10th, you can see where the dips happen at what time. Um, I've been live streaming until like four or five o'clock in the morning. So you can see the dips right here. So these dips, uh, not that one over here. So these dips right here that you see from around two to four 30, that big dip right there, that is me live streaming, you know? So like you see, you see stuff like that. And then that's, that's what happens over here. Uh, you see me, I'm recording some videos, so you see a bit of a dip right here. So don't, don't mind this dip over here. I was, um, what was I doing on that day? Oh, that's right. I was mining other things. I was mining, uh, Ravencoin light and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, um, but yeah, that's, that's what you see on the dips. I wish I could zoom in to give you a little bit of a better understanding Oh, over here. Okay. So October 10th. All right, so this is all October 10th right here. So October 10th in the morning, I say morning because I'm, I, you know, it's not really morning, but I'm live streaming around this time. All right, all the way until 4 something a.m. And then over here, I'm live streaming again. <laughs> so so that's that's what I'm getting at. Like my my profitability is going to be about what this is with the t-rex miner i know that's a very long explainer but that's i, I want to show you guys exactly how it is for me so that is with the t-rex miner it's going to be close to that uh give or take maybe like 10 cents here or there 10 cents down 10 cents up the what to mine is not going to show the t-rex miner properly because even if you switch it if you switch the algorithm so if we say let's go to uh here let's remove let's remove all of these hit calculate so that way it's only the 3060 uh lhr okay so that we got the 3060 lhr right there now what we're going to do is we're going to go custom right so the 3060 lhr custom you get about 14 on eth hash uh then we got uh octopus miner will get you about 26 not 260 26 and then we're going to calculate that. 
Okay, so using that, and it's not going to show you properly. It, it just won't do it, right? Because it, it insists on showing the... Here, let me get rid of... No, no, no. Get rid of that. It insists on showing that 3060 the way it's the way it is, right? So let me just del delete everything else just to double check everything. And the thing is, like, I can't do custom because it'll it'll want to charge me for it. It's still going to fire uh, Firo. Where are you? Octopus. Oh. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so there you go. So it's going to say I'm making 98 cents a day plus uh, 68 cents a day on Ethereum. Um, so that does it. That won't. That will not equal the way that it's supposed to. That's going to be. Uh, where are you? 68 cents plus 98 cents. That's going to be $1.66. It's, that's why it doesn't calculate properly. That's why in the other video I showed you guys properly what, I'm be, what I'd be making mining direct through NiceHash and what it is actual versus local versus what it shows on the profitability calculator. So when I mine through NiceHash using the T-Rex miner, you want to calculate it as if it's just the 3060 version one because that's what it's supposed to equal towards. All right, so the $3.09, that, well, that's the LHR, isn't it? No, that's a, okay. So $3.09, that's actually what I'm making per day with my 3060 mining through nice hash using the t-rex miner the actual profitability okay because it the way that it's doing it is the, as almost as if you were mining direct for whatever reason for what to mine just won't do it properly it won't do it to compare um the same way that mining through nice hash will okay so there you guys go there you guys have it the comparisons between the two, it's it's very, very different. It's vastly different. Okay, so if I go just one more time, if I show you guys the 3060 here. Oh, come on, show. Okay, if I show you guys the 3060, just straight up the 3060, it'll say I'm making after electricity costs $2.08. There's a dollar discrepancy between the two. And it is very, very noticeable. Like I said, you cannot use what to mine when you're mining through nice hash to to find out your profitability. It just doesn't work. If you're mining direct, that's different. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know a very long video. I'm sorry, but I had to like drill this in for you guys because so many of you continuously push on that. Oh, you, you know, you're not making that much. You can't be making that much. I am making that much for what is being said on nice hash. Because the nice hash profitability calculator is working for what you're mining on nice hash. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. There's a lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed. And leave a comment down below. Are you using profitability calculator for nice hash or are you using what to mine? And are you mining on nice hash or not? With that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy mining.